Hey guys, so I'm outside here on a really cold but sunny day to tell you about the importance of fill flash. So you've probably seen photographers out there in bright sunny days outdoors with a flash, using their flash on their camera. And the reason why is when you're shooting portraits, a lot of other things, but especially for portraits, when there's a harsh direct sunlight, it's going to cast a lot of shadow. So I'm going to step out of, I'm in the shade right now, I'm going to step out into the sun and I'm going to show you, uh, you know, basically what this looks like. You know, now you can see I'm standing here in direct sunlight, and there's really harsh shadows across my face. Uh, when you're shooting portraits, when you're trying to take pictures of people, friends, family, clients even, you want to make sure that you don't have those harsh shadows. So what photographers will do is they'll put a flash on the camera or even use the pop-up flash sometimes just to fill in those shadows. So I'm going to take a couple of pictures here. I'm going to take the first picture uh, without using any flash at all. And you're going to take, see what that looks like. And you can see harsh shadows. It's not a great picture, but it, it is what it is. It's harsh shadows. I'm going to take another one now. I'm just going to use the pop-up flash. I'm shooting this with my Canon M50. It has a pop-up flash on it. Real simple, tiny little flash. But you can see what a difference it makes when I just use a little bit of flash. Pop a little bit of flash into the scene just to fill in those shadows. So let me take the same picture now using the pop-up flash on the Canon M50. So you can see what a difference that makes. I'm not the greatest picture, not the greatest subject in the world, but I just wanted to show you what a huge difference a little bit of light added into this shot makes just to fill in those shadows, to fill in the shadows, especially when you're shooting portraits on a sunny day. It doesn't even have to be that sunny. It can be overcast. You'd be surprised how much shadow there still is falling into your subject, subject's eyes and you know underneath the nose. Filling in that little bit of shadow, adding a little bit of light to that part of it really can make a huge difference. So I got a couple of other videos I'm working on about using flash, different types of flash, from a big expensive flash down to, you know, comparing it to a pop-up flash like I just used here. So I'm going to be posting those pretty soon. Take a look at that. But you definitely, anytime you're going to be shooting portraits outdoors, especially outdoors, especially when it's sunnier, you definitely want to have your powerful, big powerful flash on there. If you don't have that, use the pop-up flash, whatever you have that you can just fill in those shadows. You definitely want to be using that. So just quick little video on that. There's other things that you can do, modifying light, you know, creating your own shade, reflecting, but this is something that you can simply do with probably the flash that you have on your camera just to make your portraits outdoors look a little bit nicer. So I hope you found that interesting. I hope it helps a little bit. Any comments or anything, leave them in the comments below. Love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.